these are from the Caribbean. I'm Sue Hobbs. I'm in my 50s. And um, we're in West Cape May. So cockles are found all over the world. And I've been collecting them for many, many years. And I'm really, really fascinated. Well, I'm a shell dealer. I'm a specimen shell dealer. And I sell to collectors and museums all over the world. And I'm technically called a conchologist. It's really pretty. This is one of the largest species. This is from um, East Africa. A professional scientist who works with shells and the animals that make them is called a malacologist. It's a massive thing. It's really, isn't that beautiful? Okay, these are all knobbed whelks that were collected by a professional conch fisherman in the Delaware Bay and in the ocean just off Cape May. These were fished commercially for the culinary industry and they were canned for squinjili or sent to Asian markets. Uh, there are three species in New Jersey. This one, the knobbed whelk, also the channeled whelk and the left-handed whelk, which is less common and usually in deeper water. They vary a lot. Some are very sculptural. Some are... Uh... Um, I got a phone call. I was at work at Whalestale, and my husband called me, and he said, you won't believe what I just found. You won't believe it. He said he was pulling the animal out of this shell, which happened to be a female, and this thing fell into the sink with a clunk, and he looked at it and he thought it might have been a piece of shell and then he realized, no, it's a pearl that this particular individual produced. And any mollusk can produce a pearl. That's the, A pearl is in response to an irritant. And this isn't valuable as far as jewelry is concerned, but as a natural history curiosity, it's almost unique.